A new wave of innovation is fueling a radical change in fashion. Wearable technology, data, automation and lab-grown materials will have a major impact on what people will be wearing in the future. We are just seeing a pace of change which is frightening but it is also incredibly exciting for the future of fashion. Since the birth of sewing and weaving, technology has always led developments in fashion. The Industrial Revolution mechanised manufacturing, enabling mass production. In the 1960s, synthetic materials like polyester took off, creating new possibilities for fashion. Now, the convergence of new technologies is opening up previously unimaginable possibilities. Self-styled fashion scientist, Dr. Amanda Parks, is in the vanguard of the industry's latest reinvention. She heads up innovation at FT Labs, a venture capital firm that invests primarily in disruptive fashion tech startups. The future of fashion is a mixture of combining new material technologies with all new forms of business models. Among these startups, the race is on to find the next generation of renewable materials that can be grown in a lab. So one example of this is bolt threads, which creates lab-grown spider silk. Traditional silk is produced from insect larvae that form cocoons, most commonly silkworms. But rather than relying on these insects, bolt threads is creating silk in test tubes. So they've taken the DNA out of a spider, just the part of the DNA that creates silk, and transform that into a microorganism, into a yeast. And you can think of it like brewing beer. So as they feed the yeast, as it brews, it creates silk protein. Biofabricated materials remove the need for animals and insects, and they are a more sustainable and efficient way of producing raw materials. You're able to speed up this process, put it into a controlled environment in a laboratory, and have a lot more control over what you're growing and how. Other companies are creating leather alternatives. Rather than using animals, scientists are creating biofabricated materials from pineapple leaves and even mushrooms. Another example is a mycelium-based leather. So the root structure of strains of mushrooms can be grown synthetically in a lab, but they're all natural fibers. When you think about the convergence of what technology can do with this in terms of the future development of materiality. And so we really have the opportunity to make huge global change by changing the means of production of materials. The convergence of fashion and technology also provides opportunities to transform not just clothes, but the people wearing them. Mayant is a company that's pioneering the creation of clothing that can monitor your every move. We call it textile computing. Uh, some other people call it uh, smart fabric. Essentially, it's, a, it's an interactive fabric that could uh, sense uh, data from you. So-called smart fabrics are being touted as the next frontier of wearable technology. Yarns are paired with electronic sensors so that essential data can be captured from the human body. This is a men's boxer. You can see the sensors embedded on the band and on the body. Within seconds, it will start transmitting your ECG, temperature, your movement, your respiration. To create clothing that can monitor the wearer's health and fitness, Mayant has brought together teams of people that have not traditionally worked under the same roof. We have uh, the advanced research, uh, engineers and scientists uh, at nanoscale technology, electrical engineers, mechatronic engineers, software, AI. We wanted them to interface and to interact with fashion designers, with pattern makers. Smart fabrics could radically change consumers' relationships with the clothes they wear. But as technology increases the pace of change, how can the industry keep track of what consumers really want? Francesca Muston is the head of retail at WGSN, the world's leading fashion forecasting agency. 
we are just seeing a pace of change which is frightening but it's also incredibly exciting for the future of fashion. Staff here use big data to analyse political, social and environmental trends in order to predict the hot new looks of tomorrow. If we think back over the last five years at how the fashion industry has changed, think about the way that we shop compared to the way that we used to shop. Technology is driving an explosion in consumer choice, as well as the bewildering array of clothing design and creation. To keep up, the industry is also turning to technology. We are for sure in the midst of a digital revolution. AI, the idea of kind of machine learning and big data. How do we start to sort of synthesize all of these new technologies and start to make sense of it, both in terms of industry, but also in terms of the consumer? Machine learning technologies are now central to fashion forecasting quickly spotting patterns among the ever-growing volume of data. From biotechnology to demographic shifts, predicting trends is no longer an art, it's becoming a science.